Hi guys, welcome to my art channel. My name is Nikki if you've not been here before. So today we're revisiting stencils and once again I'd like to thank Mina Villegas for first introducing these lovely stencils. So I'm using the elephant, uh, the same as Mina used. It's very fine this elephant is and you have to be, be careful because some of the, the cutouts aren't joined um, if you know what I mean so if you move your palette knife in the wrong direction you could sort of lift it up and get your paint underneath it so have a good look at it first find out the parts that are joined and the parts that aren't so that you know which direction you've got to apply the paint and where you've got to be extra careful so you need your paints thick so that they don't bleed. So any kind of gloss gel medium will work. You don't need to spend a lot of money on one. I bought probably the cheapest one that you could buy, just one by Montmartre because that is one I already had, so I didn't have to go out and buy a new one. So it was really cheap just from the dollar shop. Anywhere where they sell Montmartre products will have them. Mine comes in a tube. And I mixed it directly, I mixed my pigments directly into it, I didn't add anything first. It is hard to mix, but um, just persevere and you'll, you'll mix it. But as I say, it is thick, but you need it thick. And all the colours that I've used will be listed in the description box below, along with where you can get the stencils from, which is Amazon. And they come in a pack of nine. So they're, um, I think they're good quality. I probably won't use all of them. It's like everything, isn't it? You know, you never like all of them. But it's a good selection. And maybe I could use parts of it, parts of some of them. But yeah, I won't use all of them. So I used the lady last time. And this is for my mum. I'm just getting ready for the reveal. Uh, she loves elephants, so it's part of her Mother's Day present. And you'll see the reveal in a moment. She doesn't watch YouTube, so she won't hear me saying this. But you'll see the reveal. How pretty is that? I said when I did the lady one that I thought about doing one all in gold. And I think with the background pour, I think just the gold just sets it off really nicely. Now if you do accidentally get a little bit of paint, if you go off the edge of your stencil, which is obviously what I have done, you can just use a baby wipe, as long as you do it straight away, and just carefully wipe it off. But this, this hasn't been varnished yet. It's a pour I did a long time ago, last year. And yeah, I haven't yet varnished it, so I'll be able to varnish it once this is dry and cured. So clean your stencil straight away. Very important because you don't want the thick gel, which is paint, to dry and your stencil will be ruined and then whatever you've paid for your stencils will be just wasted. So always clean them off straight away. Now, as you can see, my stencil is clean because this is the one I did first so I've just shown you how thick it is and that's the palette knife I'm using I, I like to use one that doesn't have obviously small but one with a rounded edge and um, tip rather than point if it's pointy you could sort of lift I'm here again with my sort ofs um, you could lift the palette the stencil up and then the paint will seep underneath it. So try and find a one with a rounded edge and that will make it easier for you. So I'm speeding this one up because you've seen me do it previously. Now this one, because the background is quite busy, it was um, when I was doing her horizon, when everybody was doing horizon and seascape pores um, it's a swipe I didn't like it I thought the 
what I thought would be the sunset. I think it was too bright. So you know when you just have them sat sitting, <laughs> doing nothing, waiting to see what might come of it. I was hunting for some backgrounds and I saw this and I thought, oh yeah, it'd be quite nice. And if I did it subtle, it was kind of like, um, not in the mist, but kind of like a dream elephant. So that's why I still use the gold, even though obviously there's gold in the background, because it will be a very subtle effect and just added little bits of blue and pink this time as well. When this is varnished, I think it will show up a little bit more, but um, it's not as pronounced as the other one, but I still think it's pretty. I think it probably would have been better with a little bit more blue and pink. I do like it just in his ears and a bit at the bottom, but probably would have been nice for a little bit more as well. So. I'm just touching up that little bit, I add a little bit more blue, a little bit of pink, but it is quite hard to add it afterwards, so try and do it how you want it through the stencil, because I didn't realise how you know, tricky it was to try and get it smooth. But you can see what I mean about how intricate this stencil is. So it is important that you um, apply it carefully so you don't miss any of the little cutouts. And obviously you can, you know what I mean, if your paint is thin, you wouldn't get these crisp lines. With a nice thick gel, you can just get these real crisp effects. So yeah, I'm happy with both of these. Um, the first one, obviously the Horizon one was the one I intended giving Mum for Mother's Day, but I think I like that one, but she can have them both or she can just choose one. The um, This one, is a 12 inch, no sorry, it's a 13 inch, no sorry, I'll go back, this is a 12 inch canvas and the Horizon one is a 13 inch wood round, getting confused. So thank you for watching and have a go with stencils to embellish your paws, your paws that you might have thought about throwing away and if you like it, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already and then you'll know when I put out a new video. And everybody take care, stay safe. And any questions, ask in the comments section. Take care guys, bye.